Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix the last caretaker crashing, crashing to desktop or crashes as a startup error on PC. So without wasting a time, let's jump to the fixes. The first fix is to modify the game launch option. So you can try minus no ray tracing, minus DX11 or minus DX12. So open Steam, go to library, right click on the last caretaker game and then select properties. Now in the launch options type minus no ray tracing and then close the tab and then launch the game and check. This has solved the issue for many players so I hope this will work for you as well. If that doesn't work then again go to properties and this time type minus dx11 close the tab and then launch the game and check. If it's still not working then again go to properties and this time type minus dx12 close the tab and then launch the game and check. Now if it's still not working then again go to properties, remove the launch options and then close the tab and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Next solution is to rename or delete the save game files. But please take a note, you must create backup of this folder to desktop first because you will lose all the save game progress as well as all saved settings. So here how to rename or delete the save game files. Open C drive, open users folder, open your username folder open app data folder now if you don't see app data folder over here then click on this view then click on show and then check mark hidden items and then open app data folder open local folder now look for a voice folder right click on it and then copy it and then go to the desktop and paste it to keep the backup and after you keep the backup then right click on voice folder and then click on rename you can either rename it and then you can launch the game and check if that doesn't work then right click on voyage folder and then select delete to delete it and then you can go ahead and launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not next fix is to delete direct x headers so in windows search type disk cleanup and open it now tick mark direct x header cache and then click on ok and then click on delete files these are temporary files so you don't have to worry about it and once the direct setter has been deleted then you can go ahead and launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix 4 is 2 windows security user allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall to do this in windows search type windows security and open it click on virus and threat protection then click on manage ransomware protection then click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow then click on add and allow app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder wherever you have installed the game open program files x86 folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder open the last caretaker folder and then select this voyage exe file and then click open to add it to the list again click on add and allow app then click on browse all apps now open voyage folder open binaries folder open win64 folder select voyage steam win64 shipping exe file and then click open now go back click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall then click on change settings then click on allow another app then click on browse now browse to the game installation folder open the last caretaker folder select voyage exe file click open and click on add in my case it is already added Again click on allow another app, click on browse, open voyage folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder, select voyage steam win64 shipping exe file, click open, click on add and then click ok to save changes. Now go ahead and launch the game and check. Now if you are using any third party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avast, Kaspersky, AVG, Maccafe, Norton, Bitdefender, then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. And then you can launch the game and check. Or you can simply turn off your antivirus program, launch the game, play the game and then you can later on turn on your antivirus program. Fix 5 is to verify the game file. So open Steam, go to library, right click on last caretaker game, select properties, go to the installed files tab, then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the 100% of the verification has been done, then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 6 is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in the compatibility mode. So open Steam, go to library, right click on last caretaker game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now right click on this voyage file, 
and then select run as an administrator and see if that helps or not. If not, then open voyage folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder. Right click on voyage steam win64 shipping exe file and then select properties. Now go to the compatibility tab and tick mark run this program as an administrator. Hit apply ok then launch the game from here from the game installation folder and check if this work or not. If not then check mark run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8. Hit apply ok then launch the game and check if it's still not working then from here select windows 7. Hit apply ok then launch the game and check. If it's still not working then check mark disable full screen optimization option as well hit apply ok and then launch the game and check now if it's still not working then untick all these three boxes from the compatibility and then hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 7 is to update graphic card driver so in windows search type device manager and open it then expand the display adapters right click on your graphic card and then select update driver then click on search automatically for drivers and then close it and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. If that doesn't work then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. So if you have AMD graphic card driver then go to the AMD website. If you have Nvidia graphic card driver then go to the Nvidia website. And if you have Intel graphic card driver then go to the Intel website. Links are provided in my video description. You have to search and select your correct graphic card driver and then reinstall the latest version. And then you can launch the game and check. I am showing the example of NVIDIA graphic card driver. So go to this NVIDIA website. And once you are on this NVIDIA website, you have to enter your version of graphic card driver version over here. And then select Windows operating system. Then click on find. Now you have to download and install GeForce game ready driver. So whatever is the latest version, you have to download and install it. So click on view. Then click on download. And once this exe file get downloaded, then you have to run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow. And then click OK. You will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then click on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc and then launch the game and check next solution is to install visual c++ files so go to this microsoft website link is given in my video description and once you are on this website scroll down and download both the x64 version and x86 version you have to download both the version first you have to install the x64 version so click on this x64 version and if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it then click on x86 version now again if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it and then just restart your pc once and after your pc restart then you can go ahead and launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not Next solution is to disable overlay. So you can disable enable overlay in Steam. So open Steam. Go to library. Right click on last caretaker game. Select properties. Now disable enable the Steam overlay while in game. Or you can also simply enable and then check. So you can enable and disable the overlay and check. Disable discord overlay. Launch discord on your PC. Then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner. Click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay. Disable NVIDIA overlay, open NVIDIA GeForce experience, settings, general, turn off in-game overlay. Similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps. GeForce experience, NVIDIA shadow play overlay, AMD overlay and then you can launch the game and check. Fix 10 is to close conflicting or unnecessary programs. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick, controllers, multiple monitor connected to your PC, unplug the Logitech or Threat Master racing wheel. And the task for Afterburner, Reva Tuner, HW Info, Razer, Synapse, or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Next solution is to update Windows. So go to the Windows settings. On the left, click on Windows Update and then click on Check for Updates. And if there are any updates available, then download and install it. And then just restart your PC. And after your PC restart, then you can go ahead, launch the game, and check if your problem is solved or not. Next solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So simply uninstall the last caretaker from your system, restart your PC, then reinstall the game to C drive, SSD drive. If already installed in C drive, then try installing it to another SSD drive or external SSD drive, and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. So these are some of the fixes that you can try to fix the last caretaker game crashing crashes to desktop 
or crashing at a startup error on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel, share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.